everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of React components. If you are new to React or just looking to deepen your understanding, you are in the right place. In this video, we will explore the fundamental concept of what component is in React, we will break down its role and significance within the React ecosystem and we will walk you through the process of writing a component step by step. But don't worry, if you are completely new to React, we will start from the basics. We will guide you through writing your first React component and help you understand it through hands-on examples. By the end of this video, you will have a clear grasp of how components work and how they contribute to building dynamic and interactive user interfaces. But before that, if you are a beginner or looking to refresh your knowledge, grab your coding setup and let's dive right in. Just a quick info for you. If you're a professional who wants to switch careers with software engineer by learning from the experts, then try giving a shot to Simply Learn's postgraduate program in full stack web development. Accelerate your career as a software developer through this postgraduate program in full stack web development course in collaboration with Caltech CTME in just a few months. You will learn modern coding techniques with bootcamp level intensity and gain all you need to be full stack technologist. The link in the description box should navigate to the home page where you can find a complete overview of the program being offered. All right, now let's start with the first topic, which is what is a component? So let's imagine you're making a digital puzzle. Each puzzle piece has a specific role, but it's when you put them all together, you see the whole picture. In the world of React, these puzzle pieces are called components. Now imagine a button, a form or a header on a web page. Each of these is a component. These components are like reusable templates, kind of having a set of puzzle pieces that you can use to create different pictures. You can take these components and place them throughout the website to construct the complete user experience. So in simple terms, React components are the individual parts, then when combined, make up the entire website. They make it easier to create and manage different pieces of a web page, just like putting together a puzzle to reveal the big picture of your website. All right, now what role does it play in React? Like what role does it component play in React? So as your project gets bigger, you can reuse the components you have already made to create new designs. It's like using familiar pieces to build things, making development faster. Components help organize your code and make it easy to manage as your project grows. Just like using the same set of Lego blocks to build various structures. They simplify the process of creating and maintaining different parts of your website, making it more efficient and saving your time. So this was about the role that components play in React. Now let's understand how to write a component. And for that, we'll have to move to VS Code. So we'll do a practical demo. All right, so this is our VS Studio. So here we will be writing a simple code. So that code will have a heading and an ordered list. So we'll start. First of all, we'll write return. All right, inside return, we'll write the code. Which one? And we'll write best places to visit. Okay, now below this, an ordered list and write list. First of all, we'll write USA, then we'll simply copy this. So instead of writing again and again, we'll just copy paste it. All right, so USA, Canada, let's say Singapore, Australia, South Africa, these are the just random countries, we'll writing and let's say Mexico, all right. So this is an ordered list and this is the heading, all right. So now we don't want to write the complete code over here. So instead of this, as we can see heading is very less code and this 
unordered list is very less code but in actual problems this these type of codes are very number of lines in terms of number of lines these are very large so in order to make it small we'll create components so instead of writing the complete code in app.js we'll create a component to make you understand now we are going to make things simpler by creating a special part of the code called a react component instead of writing all the code in one place app.js will break it into simpler pieces so instead of typing everything over here that is in app.js we'll just use the component name to include its code it's like organizing our code in more straightforward way so we'll simply use its name but for that we'll have to create a component so let's go to source and we'll go to new file so first we'll want to create a component for heading so heading is best places to visit so we don't want to write it over here we just want to uh, write the name of the component over here so that it looks concise all right so we'll write heading make sure the name of the component start with a capital letter that is as you can see heading h is capital then jsx heading dot jsx so this is the component now here we will include first of all we'll write import react from react right import right right import react from react all right now the function where is the function inside the function all right so inside the function there is a return statement and what return statement is saying that we are simply gonna include this instead of writing it again we just copy paste it we just took it from here and we'll just include it over here so this is the heading best places to visit now in order to export i mean in order to use it over here we need to export it and the app dot just needs to import it so we use basically we use import and export in components to share the reuse code easily so this is the reuse code when we export a component it's like packaging it for use elsewhere then when we import that is we will import over here when we import that component in another file that is app.js we are basically saying hey i want to use that code here it helps keep things organized and allows us to use the same component in different parts of our app without repeating the code so what we'll do is first of all we'll export it from here so for that we'll write export default and the name of the component first of all we haven't mentioned the name over here heading the name of the component is heading all right so we're going to save it and now we can write over here name of the component heading space forward slash so this is the syntax angular brackets name of the function or the name of the component space forward slash closing of angular bracket so this is how you can do it and now we will import it import heading from dot slash heading now if you want to include dot jsx you can otherwise it is not mandatory all right now in order to use it firstly we'll gonna use div so as the multiple lines are there as we can see so we have to use either the fragmentation or a div all right so yeah we did it so we have included it and i believe it will work fine so let's have a look at it as you can see best places to visit usa canada singapore australia south africa mexico so it is working fine now we don't want this list also over here we want to use it as we did similar to this we, we are going to do this for list also so we don't want it here we'll create a component for this and simply we'll include the component name and forward slash so this is the syntax basically so we'll name a component name list in which we'll put the code and then we'll include or import this code over here so let's do that like the previously we did similarly we'll go to source new file and list.jsx let's name it list now import 
react from react now function the name of the function is list the name of the function is list and now return all right so we'll go in app.js just copy this one cut it and simply paste it so again here we can use div all right we'll save it now here also as we can see first of all is a typo yeah now as you can see here also we'll have to export it otherwise the code will not work it will not display so we'll write export default list all right so we have exported this so once you have exported any file can take it so app.js will take it so we'll write import list from so dot slash list all right so now instead of writing the complete code we'll simply write we'll i repeat we'll simply write list space forward slash all right now let's try to run it let's see if it is working or not so as you can see it is working fine best places to visit and all the places are, are there and let's see if we go back just copy paste this list So we have pasted it multiple times so now if we'll go over here and check so we don't have to write the code again and again we'll simply copy paste the component and that part of code will be copy pasted in different places as we want so this is the beauty of react so this is how we can do it that's why react is preferred because of its reusability and so we have created two components heading and list so let's just go and create one more component. Let's say in which we will use an image. So let's name it like picture or something like that. So we'll go to src new file and we'll name it picture.jsx. Right. All right, so now here we will include an image. So in this component, first of all, we'll write dev. So now inside dev, we will use a image tag, self closing one. Now inside it, first of all, there will be src, that is the source. So we have this picture just paste it over here all right now we can name it also all right now if we want to do css then this is how we can do it in react in the jsx let's say the width is 200 pixels and we have to enclose it in the double quotes right height 200 pixels all right so i think this would be enough now let's save it and export it also export default picture all right let's save it so now we'll have to import it over here we'll right import picture from dot slash picture 
now we are gonna simply include the component so again the syntax of the component is the name of the component forward slash and the closing of angle brackets this is it so there is an error it is showing picture is not defined over here we can see typo is there now we'll save now let's have a look so this is it so best places to visit is a heading this is a list and this is a picture so none of them is here we are just included their components and if you will copy this we can see multiple images will be there so this is the reusability feature you don't have to write the same code again and again in react also one more thing so in this picture image as we can see in this picture component the component list returns an img tag with src and alt attributes img is written like html but it is actually javascript in every component it is like that it is looking like html but is it is actually javascript under the hood this syntax is called jsx and it lets you embed markup inside the javascript and also the return statements so return statements can be written all on one line also but if your markup isn't all on the same line as you can see if your markup is not on on all on the same line then you must wrap it in a pair of parentheses as we have done all right so this was about this now i have one exercise for you in which you'll have to look at the code and tell us what is wrong with the code all right so let's go there so this is the code you'll have to look at this code and tell us what is wrong with this code you can pause this video and figure out what is wrong in this code based on the things we have taught you all right so as you can see now we're going to figure out what is wrong with this code first of all the thing is this is the component and this is the name of the component so this is the basically the definition of the component now as you can see we know that the starting letter that is the first letter should be capital so instead of t small t we will put capital t copy this in all of these and over here also if it is not capital it will not work all right so we have done this so now let's try to run this as we can see it is not running it is showing an error so what is that error we'll have to figure out so as you can see they are saying 12 in line 12 it is showing now the thing is over here we haven't exported it this is the second fault so we'll write export default gallery all right now let's try to run it so as you can see it is done and localhost 3002 right so as you can see key points of react elements first of all let's remove these two all right so now let's save it all right so key points for react components so these three key points you'll have to remember react component names always begin with a capital letter in react every piece of user interface is a component react components return jsx markup so as we have already told you about the markup so this is about it also as we did we can copy paste it again and again to make it more all right so in conclusion react components are like building blocks for web apps with react components you can keep your code tidy and make changes easily it's like having set of tools where each one does a specific task by organizing your code this way you can make your app more flexible and easier to understand so think of react component as the handy tools that make web development a breeze all right guys with that we have come to the end of this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i hope it really help you all thanks for watching stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.